Hey everybody, so um, I am in my bathroom, so I apologize, but had some thoughts in my head. So I'm kind of multitasking, do you guys ever do that? Anyways, so um, getting my pajamas ready. Um, so I had this thought as I was watching TV, it's a couple days into the new year of 2019, and I'm seeing all of these um, advertisements, right, on like diet plans and exercise equipment and gyms. And do you ever notice that they do that on purpose, like at the beginning of the year? Because that is the most common thing for people to do is say, I want to get healthy. I'm going to work out every day. And they make all these promises to themselves. And then unfortunately, what we do is we stop these promises with ourselves after like week three or week four. If you head into February with that commitment still, you're a rare breed. Um, so I wanted just to share some things with you guys. Um, you know, I am a wellness coach. Um, I've had lots of experience just like you. Um, I'm not, you know, any more uh, better than anybody, but I just wanted to share with you my experiences with it since I'm inundated with a lot of this stuff. Um, I, if you know me personally, you know, I like to educate myself. Um, it took me, uh, for example, a couple of years to buy my SUV. <laughs> That's how much homework I do, okay? Um, so, and it took me a while with lots of skepticism. Skept is that a word? Skepticism? Um, before I began this journey that I've been on for almost three years now. So, um, I wanted just everybody to just be aware and I wanted to give you some ideas and questions to ask yourself before you, you know, call a number to grab a diet or, you know, jump in your car to go to a gym or call the number to buy this expensive piece of equipment. Okay. Because I've been, I've done all that stuff, um, especially the pills, right? The magic pills that just, it just melts everything away. But then you look on the bottle and it's like, but you have to eat well. And you're like, well, I am eating well because a hamburger is protein and that's a different story. It's not, I mean, it is, but it's defeats the purpose when you have too many carbs, cancels stuff out. So, um, so when you're looking at these ads, what I want you to think about, or when you're trying to decide what to do, I want you to think a couple of things. The first one is, is it sustainable? Like, can you truly do this forever? Because if it is being advertised to you as something, um, temporary, you, I would highly advise against it. Um, because if they say you only need to do this for four weeks and then you're done, um, that's how people gain their weight back. A lot of bad habits come on. You have to find a way to live that's sustainable, that you can continue on. Um, the other thing is, and I'm going to do a little bit more of a talk on this on a different day, is making sure that there's foods that you like that you can choose from that you like, not what somebody else likes, not that somebody says, hey, you have to have alfalfa sprouts, but you don't like them, but you feel obligated to do that. Um, don't get into something like that either. Um, I'm a very picky eater, um, especially with fruits. There's only certain fruits I like. I can name them on one hand how many fruits I like. Apples, green grapes, strawberries, and the occasional bananas and watermelon. That's it. Those are the only fruits I like. And I don't like them in a fruit pie either. They have to be fresh and they have to look a certain way. <laughs> That's how picky I am. There's no bruising. There's no gross stuff on it. Nothing. So, um, you know, you should be able to adapt something to that. So if, when I looked at a diet program and it said, you have to eat tangerines, I was like, gross. I don't like them. I don't like them. Like, I'm not going to enjoy my food if I don't like it. I won't go too much into detail with that topic because that's for a different um, share later on. But, um, so yeah, look for something that's sustainable. Look for something that you're going to, you're going to enjoy eating and make sure that it's healthy. And that's the biggest thing. I think that as Americans, we tend to maybe not understand as much, or we get fooled into thinking that things are healthy. French fries are not healthy guys. Hamburgers at McDonald's, they really truly aren't healthy. Um, you know, I'm guilty. I love Japanese food. Man, the other day I just ordered 
you know, the rice and white rice. It was white rice. Terrible for you. If they had brown rice, I would have asked for brown rice, believe me. But again, it's over in abundance, right? And especially it's the portion size because you have too many carbs and then it's just going to soak in your body. Um, and a lot of the times places don't give us enough protein either. So um, you have to make sure that you're aware of portion sizes. It's not giving you too few of calories. It's not giving you too much of calories. Um, I like places that support like exercise. Like I never really liked it, but I've found the benefits of that. Um, so that may be something as well. Um, what's the commitment like? Can you cancel within 30 days? Um, or are you stuck for a year? Um, is there a huge deposit? How much is it? Like cost is everything to me. Um, I'm not into paying a huge deposit down on a gym. That's, this is just me. And people are different. That's cool. But I'm not into paying, you know, $70 down for a gym. And plus that same month I'm paying 40 bucks every month. And then sometimes I go twice a week or sometimes I'll go four times. You know, is it worth it? Make sure that you're paying for what you're paying for is worth it. Break it down into the day, right? Um, for example, right now, I'm literally, if I were to break down my cost, I'm, it's, what is it? Eight to $10 a day. That's it. Um, I do work out six, five days a week right now. Sometimes I do six days, never do seven. Um, but, you know, I don't have to worry about if they have classes and you like classes, make sure that it's on your schedule. Um, Cause a lot of the times stuff happens, right? You got a, a last minute meeting, you have a conference, um, your kid needs to go somewhere. There's an emergency, whatever. I like, um, not consistency, but I like knowing what to expect. So my schedule has to be very cut and dry. It's just gotta be like that. And I have to be in control. I like to be in control. It feels good, right? Um, and make sure it's not a quick fix guys. Like really, I, God, I've been there. Um, it can do really damaging things to your insides and you, and you probably won't feel it. You won't feel it. You won't see it, but it's there. It's inside and it probably won't creep up for another couple of years in the way of high blood pressure, hypertension, same thing. Um, heart problems, obesity. Um, it'll creep up in a cancer. Um, uh, it's, it's, so you just got to be really careful. Um, personally, my advice is find something that's very, very flexible to your needs, like as flexible as possible. It's open when you want it to be open. You can do classes or routines when you want to do them. Um, I don't like dragging people around, taking a lot of time. So make sure your time management is perfect with that. I know a lot of you guys are busy. You send me those messages and yeah, I called you out in the post the other day, but, but seriously, you're busy. Um, make sure that it doesn't take much because if you're busy, I don't want to hear you guys on Facebook, how you drove to the gym and then you're denying my coaching. <laughs> yeah, I said it because what I offer, you don't have to drive anywhere and it's cheaper. So, um, but anyways, but, but I, you know, I'm not saying come join me. I mean, I am, but you know, there's, everybody needs something different. And so I just want you guys to just be aware. I want you to be using your money wisely. Um, I, I want you to be saving money. I want you to be doing something that's healthy for your body. Um, it's not going to damage it in the future. And that is sustainable because I, I, it, it breaks my heart. People are like, oh, this didn't work. I did this for, you know, three months. And now I gained all my weight back. Like, I don't want to, you've got to stop the yo-yoing, right? Find something that's sustainable. So anyways, those are just some tips. Take them for what they are and um, turn off the advertisements if it gets too much to you because I get tired of hearing it too <laughs> this January, right? So they'll be gone soon. Just be patient, but Anyways, I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.